Welcome to Tasmania, land of thundering waterfalls, rugged mountains, pristine beaches, and one-of-a-kind wildlife. Tasmania, Australia's smallest state, is about the size of West Virginia and located 150 miles south of the state of Victoria. About 40% of its land is protected in national parks and reserves, making it a fantastic destination for hikers and nature lovers. I explored the island on a six-day Taste of Tasmania tour with Intrepid Travel, which visited half a dozen national parks and featured at least one hike every day. The trip started in the western part of the island, where the weather can be wild. Battered by the roaring 40s, winds that sweep across the ocean from as far away as South America, the west coast gets more than three times as much rain as the east, which creates the lush, mossy rainforests and powerful waterfalls you'll see on this side of Tasmania. The western half of the island is home to one of Tasmania's most iconic sites, Cradle Mountain. Part of Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park, the loop trail around Dove Lake offers numerous views of the mountain and was one of my favorite places to hike. Cradle Mountain is also home to a community of wombats. As we drove further east, the landscape changed. Tasmania's east coast has several beautiful beaches, including Bay of Fires, named after the aboriginal fires a British navigator spotted on the beach during his exploration of the area in 1773. I loved exploring the massive granite rocks here, colored bright reddish orange by lichen living on the surface. Farther south is Wineglass Bay. Part of Freycinet National Park, this spectacular beach is accessible via a hiking trail with 1,000 steps. There's a dark history behind the bay's name. It was once home to a major whaling station, and the water would turn red with the blood of the slaughtered animals, making the bay look like a glass of red wine from above. Today, it's one of Tasmania's most beautiful and remote beaches. Perhaps the most unique place to visit in Tasmania is Mariah Island. This small island off the east coast, accessible by a 30-minute ferry ride, combines fascinating history and unique wildlife. You can still see the remnants of the convict station that was once here. But today, Mariah Island is a popular place to hike and a sanctuary for endangered wildlife. On this island, nicknamed the Noah's Ark of Tasmania, I spotted rare animals such as Cape Barren geese, forester kangaroos, common wombats, and even a Tasmanian devil. Tasmania is a destination that feels impossibly far away, because for most travelers, it is, but the adventure is worth the trip. <laughs>